Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is David Santoso from Singasari Special Economic Zone, and such an honor for me to be invited here to introduce our Special Economic Zone. So, uh, Special Economic Zone is a government um, designated area, uh, and our area is in East Java, it's in Malang, uh, 70 kilos down from Surabaya. Um, right now, we have a 20 uh, Special Economic Zones in Indonesia. And uh, we are one of the few which is quite urban. It's uh, only three kilos from the national uh, access road and a few kilos, kilometers down to um, several exits, um, toll exits from Surabaya um, to Malang. So special economic zone is designated by the government and is given by um, specific government regulations. So ours is government regulations number 68 of 2019. And there are two things, uh, the main activities of the zone is the tourism zone and technological development. And now we are in the progress for adding one more, uh, it's in education. Oh, sorry. Um, so uh, the first space of the zone is 44.8 40, hectares, 45 hectares, uh, of a total of 120 hectares. So, so in the area, uh, we divided th that into clusters, and not only clusters, but we decided to spin off the company to become subsidiary, because our main task is to attract investment. So we, we know that sometimes uh, the landlord model doesn't always work if we just selling the lands and uh, to rent the, the, the piece of lands. So we decided to co-take the risk. So we, dis, we decided to uh, spin off a few subsidiaries uh, in uh, education. We got local demi, uh, local infra to uh, manage and operate all of the infrastructures inside the zones and some projects outside the zones. Local Niaga for, for the commerce, we got a subsidiary in uh, food trading business to Eastern Indonesia. Loka Graha is residential area, uh, low-rise and mid-rise apartments in, in the zones. Loka Wisata is the tourism area serving for Bromo. So Bromo is the major tourist attractions there. And we are actually at, at the foot of uh, Mount Arjuna in the 650 to 700 uh, above the sea level. Um, then we get the Loka Nima is the uh, subsidiary for content. So we have uh, 300 plus animators uh, in the zone and also uh, 100 plus uh, filmmakers. Um, we got the Loka Techno. Um, we tried to get the nucleus and plasma model for this uh, technology uh, provider. So we attract now like five plus um, and, and growing the, the studios uh, from Greater Malang area and East Java into the zones. So we have uh, 200 plus software developer in the zones. And we got the local Demi is an education and local university. We work very closely with several uh, private university and also University of Rawijaya, which is the largest public university in the nation. And also we are closing um, a contract with um, a top 50 QS um, foreign university, UK based university to be established in the zone. So this is our animation and film factory. So the model is uh, each building. We dedicate that for each studio. So we get uh, from the community, each of our uh, creative community. Then we attracted them. We provide them with uh, the physical buildings, infrastructure, uh, the high speed broadband, and also the working space. And right now, uh, I think what we are looking for is a uh, joint distribution, joint productions, and joint investment. Uh, in the services projects, as well as the IP development projects. Uh, so we work with Australia, we work with UK based company um, to market our IP and as well as uh, do like some outsourcing job for the uh, animation and film services. Uh, the coding factory right now we are doing like the um, business process outsourcing for Australia. Uh, and, um, and, and, and this is kind of the um, uh, several startups uh, community also uh, reside in here. 
So the, it's called Loka Techno, the subsidiary, and below us, we got a uh, majority stakes in uh, some of the startups. So we are looking into like the venture um, partners who can share um, um, the business with us in growing like some of the um, opportunities in startup development. So this one is actually, uh, we are partnering with the University of Muhammadiyah Malang. It's the leading Islamic uh, university in Malang. So we are um, building a center for future work. So we know that digital and some of the um, soft skills are really, really uh, required uh, for today's uh, graduates. So University of Muhammadiyah Malang is building some, uh, one facility, this facility in our zones outside their main campus. Uh, so one out of eight semesters, the students, um, so they, they have more or less 40,000 student body. So in one year, 10,000 students will um, study here for digital related uh, skills. Um, and this will be uh, industry driven learning. So we're looking for some vocationals and uh, TVET provider, uh, curriculum and content provider for this um, uh, skilling and reskilling uh, part of the uh, university student. So uh, we are working right now with the Western Australia TVET Consortium. So we are um, uh, coming up with the concept of uh, Australian um, certifications uh, under this facility. Uh, so we are looking at the European counterpart to do like a, the um, uh, TVET Consortium model. And this one is the tourism sites. We have uh, 12 hectares for the first space. So we spin off this to be like one new company and then being like a special economic zone, uh, we are given the, the, the incentive for the tax. So uh, the corporate income tax, um, if the investors invest um, 100 billion rupiah and above, uh, it's given that tax holiday for 10 years for the corporate income tax. And on top of that, the regional tax, uh, 40 billion investment and above, uh, is 100 percent a tax holiday for the hotel and restaurant tax, property tax, real estate uh, transfer tax. So it's uh, basically is a tax-free zones, and also uh, the um, the land certifications you can have like 80 years um, at, at once. The, re the you can renew the uh, land title for 80 years at once. Uh, given that, and then so we, we, we work together with University of Brawijaya. This is going to be um, one of the best uh, teaching hotel in, uh, in Indonesia. So we are building on like 1.5 hectares of land. It's more or less 200 billion in investment. So we're looking into like equity partners and also like uh, some other uh, maybe operators to operate the hotel. Um, so Brawijaya will invest in kind onto like their captive demand because Ravi Jaya given like 80,000 student body, they don't have um, hotels um, right now. So they will get a dedicated uh, demand to the hotel and also like organize some like um, uh, trainings uh, on uh, pastry and cooking, hospitality related, uh, coffee. Uh, so the, the hotel will be, most of the part will be revenue generating uh, on instead of like the, the cost center. Um, we are happy to talk and discuss with potential investors uh, from Europe uh, um, uh, in tourism. So uh, I think we understand the pain of the investment. Um, so we try to take some of the risks and we're ready to put some enhancement on the potential investment uh, so that um, the investors can have the confidence in, 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 in investing to the zones. And as a national strategic project, I think we have uh, the certainty uh, on the on the legal standing and also some uh, the security of the of the of the land acquisition, uh, the tax side, and also some of the incentive that we that we can discuss. Thank you very much for the opportunity and enjoy the conference. Thank you very much.